The age of our planet is 4.54 billion years. It seems that nothing can surprise us modern humans. However, it turns out that there are many events on Earth, the nature of which remains unexplored to this day. In this video, you will get acquainted with the most unexplainable phenomena and impressive ancient mysteries you've probably never heard of. Enjoy the watch. In the dense forests of the Amazon, there's a large mound called Monte Grande. Previously, no one could even suggest that the greatest find of the 21st century was hidden underneath it. In 2010, several farmers accidentally discovered stone bas reliefs and shards of pottery. Having heard about it, scientists immediately began excavations in this area. It turned out that under the layer of earth was a real pyramid belonging to a previously unknown civilization. The age of the structure was about 3,000 years. It was pre Previously believed that the Amazon River Delta, crossing South America and covered with impassable jungles, was completely uninhabited. Therefore, the discovery of 2010 was genuinely shocking. Excavations are still ongoing today, and the world of the mysterious civilization is gradually revealing more and more to scientists. The pyramid was rebuilt several times by people living here more than 3,000 years ago. Around it were residential houses and other buildings. To protect against wild tribes, a stone wall about two meters high was built around the settlement. At the top of the pyramid was a place to worship the gods to which a path in the form of a spiral was laid out. Throughout the settlement, numerous snails were found. Human remains were also discovered, which were covered with snails after death. According to scientists, the spiral shape had a sacred meaning for this civilization. Apart from the settlement, there was a small pyramid where mothers brought their deceased children. Unfortunately, no writing was found here. Therefore, scientists still cannot figure out how these people came to the Amazon forests and why they disappeared. In Austria, 200 kilometers from Vienna, you can enter a real fairy tale, all thanks to a unique natural phenomenon called the Green Lake or Gruner Sea. This place has remained one of the most popular parks in the world among tourists for many years. But what is the phenomenon of the Green Lake about? Gruner Sea is a valley at the foot of the Hochschwab Mountains. Here is a cozy, picturesque park with resting places. However, with the arrival of warmth, the landscape in the valley changes, and the park territory is completely submerged underwater. This unusual phenomenon occurs as a result of the snow melting in the Alps. The melted snow flows into the park, forming the Gruner Sea Lake. The max the maximum depth of the natural reservoir in June reaches 12 meters. During this period, tourist divers come to the park to walk underwater through the picturesque park, relax sitting on benches, and feel like inhabitants of Antarctica. The water in this lake is so crystal clear that visibility under it can reach 100 meters. The water temperature in the Green Lake ranges from plus 4 to plus 8 degrees. Admittedly, Gruner Sea can be rightfully considered the most magical place on our planet. A terrifying phenomenon demonstrating the power of nature consistently occurs where the Catatumbo River merges with Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. More than 250 lightning strikes per square kilometer crash here annually, amounting to nearly a million discharges in total. The peak frequency of lightning strikes occurs from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m., with up to 30 strikes per minute. The length of a discharge can reach one kilometer. Surprisingly, despite such frequency, the lightning is almost inaudible. However, this natural phenomenon can be seen from a distance of about 400 kilometers. Hence, the lightning over the lake is sometimes called the Catatumbo Beacon. In their time, the heavenly discharges served as a kind of landmark for sailors. Scientists consider this place the most significant producer of ozone on Earth. The endless lightning is explained by the fact that the winds from the Andes cause storms. The marshy nature of the area releases a large amount of methane into the air, which rising to the clouds fuels lightning discharges. In 2010, there was a long period without rain in this area during which the phenomenon ceased. However, a couple of months later, the lightning over the lake sparkled again. In the USA and Pennsylvania, there is an amazing and mysterious place that attracts thousands of tourists, Ringing Rocks Park. Here, many large boulders are located. 
which emit sounds when struck. Tourists gather in groups in this place and create real music with alternate tapping. This unique place was formed millions of years ago under the influence of natural forces. Amazingly, other boulders nearby the musical ones do not ring, although they look absolutely identical. Another interesting fact, the stones only ring when they are next to each other. If you take a boulder aside and tap on it, nothing will happen. Scientists still do not know why the rocks produce sound, but suggest several explanations for this. One hypothesis is that the sound arises due to the peculiarities of the rock structure. Another is that the boulders contain minerals that react to impacts. The ringing rocks once again prove how many mysteries and inexplicable phenomena nature has created. One of the most famous works of English writers was the science fiction novel The Lost World by Arthur Conan Doyle. The book told about the adventures of Professor Challenger in South America, where he finds himself on a desolate plateau and meets a dinosaur. Amazingly, the place described in the novel actually exists. The prototype for the plateau was Mount Roraima, located at the junction of Brazil, Guyana, and Venezuela. Of course, there are no dinosaurs living on Mount Roraima, but there are endemic insects and plants that are not found anywhere else on Earth. The prototype for the slave owners in the novel were the rubber magnates who kept slaves in this area during the rubber fever. And even the expedition of the fictional Dr. Challenger was invented based on the real expedition to the upper Amazon of the British traveler Harrison Fawcett. Mount Roraima even looks like a lost world located above the clouds. Its height is 2723 m above sea level and the area of the top is 34 sq km. Roraima is composed of Precambrian rocks and its age is about 2 billion years. The rivers Amazon, Essequibo, and Orinoco originate in the vicinity of the mountain. The top of Roraima is always hidden by a large lenticular cloud, and the Indians from the Amazon believe that this is not in vain. At the very top is the abode of the goddess Kui, who is the mother of all living things. She hid herself from human eyes with a large cloud. However, of course, this is only a legend, and now there are many accessible ascents to this mountain from the side of Venezuela. A few places remain where human feet have not trodden for millions of years. One such place is the Movil Cave, located in Romania. Movil Cave was discovered in 1986. However, the first research inside the cave did not start until four years later. At that point, scientists realized they had discovered one of the most unique places on our planet with an ecosystem that has no parallels on Earth. Movil is estimated to be about 5 million years old. Its internal atmosphere is entirely different from the external environment. Oxygen levels there account for about 7-10%. The carbon dioxide level is incredibly high, at 2.5%. The cave also contains between 1 and 2% methane. There's a very high concentration of hydrogen sulfide and ammonia inside. In other words, it would seem impossible for life to exist here. But as it turns out, it does. Inside Movil, scientists have discovered 33 absolutely new endemic species of leeches, spiders, scorpions, and other animals and insects. They all live exclusively inside the cave and nowhere else on the planet. Movil Cave is unique due to its incredibly long isolation from the external environment. Therefore, scientists have taken all measures to preserve its internal ecosystem in its original form. The entrance to it is hermetically sealed, and no more than three researchers are allowed in for scientific studies, who must always be in special protective suits. In the state of Minnesota, near Upper Lake, one of the most mysterious creations of nature is located, a waterfall called Devil's Kettle. It received such a name for a reason. It really seems from the side that water falls into a gigantic bottomless kettle and disappears there. The Brule River flows into Upper Lake from the northwest. The difference in altitude here is over 200 meters, so several waterfalls have formed along its course, one of which is the Devil's Kettle. This unique waterfall is located on a large rocky ledge, which divided the river's flow in two. One stream overflows from the rock into the basin below. The other flows into a hole in the rock, seemingly disappearing into nowhere. Scientists have been studying this waterfall for a long time. 
They even dropped objects into the water to see where they would end up. But the objects disappeared with the water, as if falling into an abyss. Researchers even added dye to the water. But that didn't help either. There have been many attempts to unravel the mystery of the waterfalls. Some believed that the water from the waterfall returns to the Mississippi. Others assumed that the water stream is directed through an underground tunnel to Upper Lake. Among Americans, there was even a legend that inside the Devil's Kettle is a black hole, or even a gateway to hell. In 2017, thanks to Minnesota hydrologist Jeff Green, the mystery of the waterfall was finally solved. The scientist measured the flow of the river above the waterfall, and then at a significant distance below. The volume of water was the same. This means that the water falling into the stone hole reconnects with the second stream downstream. However, scientists now need to figure out how this happens. The B.I. Pond is one of the most beautiful artificial bodies of water in the world. It is located at the foot of the active volcano Tokachi on Hokkaido Island in Japan. The pond is famous for its incredibly magical blue color, which can change depending on the weather conditions and the viewer's perspective. B.A. was established in 1989. At that time, to protect the population from landslides and the eruption of the Tokachi volcano, a dam was built. As a result, water flowing down from the mountains started to fill the nearby forest. The pond with trunks of trees stretching from the blue water into the sky began to enchant Japanese people and tourists with its beauty. A photo of B was even used by Apple in the OS X Mountain Lion operating system. The color of the pond and its change from blue to emerald has long been a matter of scientific debate. But for now, this mystery remains unsolved. There are only a few assumptions. According to one of them, the water acquires these fantastic shades when geothermal and river waters, rich in aluminum hydroxide, mix. As a result, the water begins to reflect light and visually acquires a unique color. In Kazakhstan, 200 kilometers from Aralsk, there is a tract called Barsa Kelms, which once was an island. In the 1920s, ground squirrels were bred here, and a couple of decades later, the island became a national reserve. However, due to natural and anthropogenic problems, the Aral Lake dried up significantly, and Barsa Kelmus turned into a desert area where not a single person lives. Barsa Kelmus translates from Kazakh as, if you go, you won't come back, and this place lives up to its name. Many legends have been composed about the island, and all of them are connected with mysticism. The main legend claims that in this area, people disappear and get lost in time. At first, the guardian of the reserve Reserve territory was among the missing, then an entire expedition. People were searched for three months, but upon returning home on their own, they claimed they had been on the island for just three days. There are quite a few such stories about the disruption of normal time flow among local residents. Experts in anomalous phenomena suggest that such events are related to the location of Barça Kelmes in a zone of strong geoactivity. Ufologists believe that frequent visits of aliens to the island are the reason for the time distortion. Scientists, on the other hand, suggest that all the mysteries surrounding Barça Kelmes are made up. But once this territory was closed, presumably due to the nearby weapons manufacturing plant, Therefore, none of us can know for sure what really happened there. The island of Iceland is located at the junction of the Eurasian and North American lithospheric plates. The movement of plates is a constant process. Mountains are formed at their junction, and cracks or rifts are formed when they move away from each other. In Iceland, the lithospheric plates diverge by 2 centimeters annually. The tension between them is relieved through earthquakes which occur here up to three times a year. As a result of plate movement and earthquakes, the bottom of Lake Thingvallavatn cracked. This is how a huge rift was formed, which was named the Silfra Fissure. In this area, the Icelandic authorities organized a national park. Here you can walk on land between two continents, and diving enthusiasts can dive into the underwater gorge and touch both Europe and America at the same time with their hands. The maximum depth in the fissure is 63 meters. The water in the lake is crystal clear. Visibility here exceeds 100 meters. The water temperature does not exceed 2 degrees Celsius, as the lake is filled with water from Iceland's largest glacier. The water flow passes through pores in hardened lava. This process takes at least 20 years so you can drink from the lake.
Pakal the Great was the legendary ruler of the Bakul Maya Kingdom from 615 to 683 AD. During his reign, the Maya people flourished. The king managed to stabilize the economic and political situation, after which large-scale construction work began in the capital, Palenque. He ordered the construction of six pyramid temples, including the Temple of the Inscriptions. In the late 40s of the 20th century, the leader of the Mexican archaeological expedition of the National Institute of Anthropology and History, Alberto Ruz Luillier, decided to start excavations in the territory of the ancient Maya capital, Palenque. He was most interested in the Temple of Inscriptions. The structure was a nine-level pyramid with 69 steps on the surface. The pyramid included a temple part and a burial chamber. Its total height was 24 meters. During the long excavations in 1952, Alberto Ruz Luillier discovered one of the most valuable finds in Mexico, the untouched tomb of ruler Pakal. Initially, it was not easy to get there. The path was blocked by two walls. When the Gica, they were able to break through, the archaeologist found seven batons, decorations, and the remains of five people who died violent deaths inside. The tomb of the ruler itself was a 9 by 4 meter hall with a high 7 meter ceiling. The hall contained nine sculptures of rulers of the underworld. In the center of the tomb was a huge sarcophagus, carved from solid stone, weighing about 15 tons. Above it lay a tombstone with the birth dates of Pakal and his predecessors. Inside the sarcophagus were many treasures made of jadeite. Pakal's face was covered with a jade mask with eyes made of obsidian. Each of the ruler's fingers was adorned with a ring, and various bead threads adorned his wrists and neck. Inside the sarcophagus was also a head of the sun god, made of jade. Pakal's sarcophagus became a very important discovery for scientists, which helped to fill important gaps in the history of the Maya kingdom. Following the eruption of the Kilauea volcano on the Hawaiian Islands, strange golden threads reminiscent of human hair were found in various parts of them. The length of these threads could reach 50 centimeters, and in some places they completely covered the ground. Despite their similarity to human hair, these threads have no biological origin. In fact, they consist of glass formed from bubbles of gas in lava that burst on its surface. Some threads were so thin that they remained almost invisible. Due to their lightness, they quickly spread by the wind to long distances. Therefore, many parts of the islands became completely hairy. Despite their distance from the Kilauea volcano, locals named this natural phenomenon Pele's hair, the goddess of fire, lightning, and volcanoes. This deity of the Hawaiian islands is simultaneously a protector and a pest, so she is depicted in two guises, a beautiful girl with golden hair and a hunched old woman. Even though Pele's hair is not a part of the goddess, it's better not to touch them. When the golden threads come into contact with water, they become incredibly dangerous and can damage the mucous membranes and internal organs of animals and humans. In the Kaliningrad region, on the Curonian Spit, there is a remarkable place called the Dancing Forest. A small patch of forest, extending for 800 meters, surprises with the whimsical shapes of the trees growing here. Some of them are simply tilted, while others are twisted into rings. There is a beautiful legend associated with this place, explaining the curvature of these trees. According to the legend, the Curonian Spit used to be an island where pagan Prussians lived. They didn't let anyone onto their territory. But one day a girl of unearthly beauty named Pradinia, a Christian, sailed to their shores. She only had a harp in her boat, so the Prussians decided to make an exception for her. The local prince Barzi was captivated by the beauty of the young maiden and decided to marry her. But the girl said that she would agree to this only if the prince would adopt Christianity. Barzi asked Pradinia to prove that her god exists. Then the maiden went into the forest and started to play a magical melody on her harp, which caused the trees to start dancing. As soon as the maiden stopped playing, the trees froze in their unfinished dance. This legend, of course, is beautiful, but scientists have scientific explanations for this anomaly. According to some of them, the trees took such strange positions due to unstable soil, as well as strong wind from the sea. According to another version, the whimsical shapes could have formed due to the caterpillars of the shoot moth. They eat the tops of the trees, prompting them to send out side shoots, which over time become the main trunk. The dancing forest is rightly considered one of the unique places in our country.
One of the most unusual terrains in the world is located in Nelson, New Zealand. A rocky ground consisting of granodiorite spans a 13-kilometer stretch. Looking at this place, it seems like an artificially created spit, but all this beauty was created by the forces of nature. The nature of the formation of this relief remains unknown to this day. However, the main hypothesis for the formation of Boulder Bank is considered to be coastal drift, a natural process in which wind along the coast transports deposits of various rocks. However, this hypothesis is contested. The fact is that in Tasman Bay, the force and amount of waves are insufficient to move large stones. In 1862, a lighthouse was installed in this place, which remains an important landmark for sailors to this day. And Boulder Bank remains one of the most amazing breakwaters in the world, created by nature itself. In 1981, residents of the Norwegian settlement of Hestalen were alarmed by the unidentified glow of lights over the valley. The lights had different colors. Some of them hovered in the sky, while others raced at high speed and disappeared. Scientists naturally became interested in this unusual phenomenon. In 1983, several groups of Norwegian and Swiss scientists arrived in the Hestalen Valley. Among them were even ufologists. Unfortunately, despite the large number of researchers, the nature of the lights has not been determined. But scientists have several theories about this. With the help of special equipment, it was found that as soon as the lights appeared in the sky, electromagnetic radiation in the valley increased. And in some cases, this was accompanied by a slight increase in the radiation background. In addition, scientists were able to find connections between the appearance of lights and solar activity, seasons, and time of day. The lights most often appeared during magnetic storms, from 4 in the afternoon to 2 at night and in winter. This information allowed scientists to prove that the Hestalen lights are not UFOs, but a natural phenomenon. The characteristics of the valley itself play an important role in the formation of the mysterious lights. The Hesja River flows here, the left bank of which consists of rocks containing copper and the right bank contains zinc. Sulfuric acids have been found in the river itself. Due to these unique features of the valley, the lights may be clumps of cold plasma, that is, electrically charged gas. Something similar is observed during strong thunderstorms in the atmosphere. Another reason for the formation of lights could be electrochemical reactions in the air, causing dustiness and the presence of radon. To this day, scientists are still in the process of explaining what is happening in the valley, but even if this mystery is never solved, the Hesdalen lights will forever remain one of the most beautiful phenomena of nature. Envaitanet Island, with an area of 55 sq km, is located on Lake Rudolph in Kenya. Its mystery is that people disappear without a trace in this place. Not far from the island lives the Turkana tribe. In their language, Envaiten translates as the island from which you cannot return. People avoid this mysterious place and consider it cursed. One might think that this is just a legend, but the facts speak for themselves. Many significant findings for archaeology and anthropology have been found in the lake's territory, including human remains around four million years old. Hence, the surroundings of the lake have always attracted scientists. In 1935, scientific work was carried out in this area by a British expedition led by Vivian Fuchs. Fuchs, Despite the horrifying legends he knew, decided to explore the island and sent two scientists, Martin Shefflis and Bill Dyson, there. He asked them to turn on their lanterns every evening to be sure of their safety. For the first few days, the two scientists followed the instructions. But one day, Fuchs didn't see the light and raised the alarm. Unfortunately, even after thorough searches on the island, no traces of Shefflis and Dyson were found. The two scientists disappeared forever. Several years after the incident, several families from the El Molo tribe settled on Envitant Island. Of course, they had also heard stories about this place, but apparently decided to take the risk. For a while, nothing happened. People built huts and lived peacefully. But later, it turned out that all these families also disappeared. Now only huts remain on the island, and no one else wishes to live here. Even tourists prefer to admire the island from their boats. And that's all from me. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Your activity is the best reward for me. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Goodbye.